Welcome to the Hire My VA team and business building podcast, where we help you to reclaim your freedom through hiring and thriving with virtual assistance without breaking the bank. And that means without breaking your bank. Right. I'm Dave Braun, and I'm here with my partner, my co-host, my friend, mentor, coach, Larry Broughton. Yay, David. How you doing, Handsome man? Dave. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. I love you, Dave. Thanks for being in my life. Thank love you, you too, for Larry. holding me accountable and, you know, all the good stuff. I appreciate you, my friend. Yep. Appreciate you too, man. We're having a fun time with this stuff together. Yes, indeed. Indeed. Well, let's get into a question and, and right. we've heard this before and okay. it's, um, but it's been inspired by a recent flashpoint that we've got. Okay. So okay. here's the question is basically how do we balance out our tasks with our team's tasks? In other words, uh, what's most important to accomplish? How do we balance our task with our team's task? That was the question, right? Yeah, that's the question. And it's by the way, before we get going, you mentioned something, flashpoints. You're hmm. referring to this book. <laughs> <laughs> right. So for those who don't know, maybe you stumble on us on, on YouTube. Uh, this book is called uh, Flashpoints for Achievers. And it's really a daily journal that uh, Dave, you and I had worked on together several years ago. It was the first business project that you, got, that you and I had done together after knowing yeah. each other for 15 years or so. Um, now we've known each other over 20 years. Um, but it's a daily journal. Uh, that we did. And this, we have sold thousands and thousands. I, I don't even know how many thousands of copies of this that we've sold. Uh, but we know that there are um, nonprofits. We know there are, there's at least one Fortune 50 company. We know there's a lot of small businesses that use this as part of their week, daily or weekly standups, right? There's a lot of good thought provoking stuff in there. So, anyway, that's a little uh, shameless plug for the book flashpoints and you can get that at our store or you can go to Amazon uh, and get it. But how do we balance the what, the needs of the team? Yeah. I the mean, goals it, of the it, team with our own. Yeah. How do we balance out our tasks with our team's tasks? Right. Yeah. Cause we've got, you know, we need to help our team, but then our, you know, we, we got to do our own stuff. I mean, what do we do here for that? You know, before I dive into that, can I say here, here's what I think one of the biggest mistakes that leaders make is and entrepreneurs make is, is that we jam so much into our calendar that when our team needs help, we get resentful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, just leave me you alone. Should, I want to get my stuff done. I got my own stuff to do. You should do your own stuff. Well, the truth of the matter is, as a leader, we're also mentors. We're also yeah. teachers, right? And yeah. so we have to have enough margin in our calendars, Dave to walk the four corners of the business, as they say, in the food and beverage industry, they say to touch tables, right? Which means, yeah. you know, if you've been to a good restaurant, the manager comes around and they literally touch the table, which means they're close enough, this was prior to COVID, close mm -hmm. enough to actually have a conversation with you, right? Well, as a leader, we should do that. Even if it is metaphorically, you do it through, through video calls and you check and say, how are you doing? Is, what can I help you on? Are you, are you stuck on things? Mm -hmm. That way you get moments to mentor, right? You get moments to teach. This becomes, this uh, question is pr particularly problematic though when we have zero margin. You know, we, I've got my stuff. I've got to focus on this, Dave. Don't bother me with it. You know, and you get resentful or you're just way too short with them. Be gone with you. Go, go do what I hired you yeah. to do. So well, would... let, let's start it with that kind of preface. Did yeah. I? And, and so, but I think as leaders, um, especially entrepreneurs, there's mm -hmm. always so much to do. You're right. We're jamming so sure. much in. Sure. So guess what? We're going to have to, you know, if we want to really be intentional, probably makes sense to throw in, you know, 30 minutes in your calendar every day. Let everybody know that, hey guys, here is when I'm going to be here for you. Yep. If you have a problem you can't solve or you really need my help, See if you can hold off till then. If not, it's okay, but hold off until then and then we'll get it done. Otherwise, they can go on to something else, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a good point. Um, if you have an organization where you have, you know, a handful of team members, set up a peer-to-peer -peer mentoring program as well. So that they're, not, they're not always coming to you uh, as the leader of the organization to answer their problems. You know, there, a problem that I see over and over again, Dave, is that um, if you have team members who have worked at, under bad leadership in the past, they're going to bring a lot of those habits with them, 
like, you know, there's the saying in the business about, you know, the monkey on their back. Yeah. Um, when it comes to dealing with leading teams, oftentimes that means that the team member doesn't want to make the decision. They want to get that monkey off their back. And so they want to come to you. They're going to peek, poke their head in, in your door, Dave, and say, hey, yeah. boss, what, would, what, what should I do yeah. here? And if you let that become a habit, then they're always going to be coming to your door and saying, hey, boss, what decision sh would, should I make here? And so I'm a big believer in putting it back on them and saying, well, what do you, what would you do if you were in my position? That does take an initial investment of time and energy in the beginning. But if you take the time in the beginning, then you won't be doing it six months from now. But oftentimes, you know, we get into this uh, mindset, Dave, um, I don't have time to train them. I don't have time to walk them through the decision-making process. So I'll just make the decision right now. So they, they go away, but that's very short-sighted. Oh my gosh, it is. And that's such a, such a great reminder for everybody. And especially for me, it's like when they come to me with a question, I automatically want to try to answer it. Well, you have a hero, you have the Messiah complex. You have a hero syndrome I, I a little bit. Do. And, and Sorry, so what do we do with that? What do we do with that? We've got to actually be aware. We got to, we got to just say, okay, Next time they ask me a question, I've mm -hmm. got to turn it back on them. And I love the way you said that where it's like, well, what would you do if you were in my position, mm -hmm. right? How would you advise yourself, right? Yeah. And then I think we can also start working with them and saying, you know, when you've got questions and problems, why don't you, um, you know, come with a couple of different solutions? Well, first of all, Dave, I think we, the first couple of times, the first few times, you let them know why you're doing this. Yeah. Yeah, that's so cool. I'm doing this so that we help you become a better leader. You become a better professional. I'm not shirking the responsibility, but let's walk, let's go through this a little bit. Let's role play a little bit yeah. and make it kind of fun. Get them to chuckle because they're going to be very uncomfortable in the yeah. beginning. Very uncomfortable because they're not used to this. Most team members are going to come to us, Dave, having been, having been beaten down in mm. the past. They have been reprimanded for making decisions or they've been, they've been ridiculed for making a bad decision in the past, right? And so it's our job, almost like ad many of us have uh, adopted a dog from a rescue mm. in the past. And when you bring a dog into your home that comes from a rescue, um, it brings all the bad relationships that it had with mm. it. And so we have to retrain them a little bit. I had to do that with my dog, Bodie, you know, he was almost two years old when I got him and he was not in a great family environment before he got to me. Yeah. Right. Oh my God. And so we had to build trust, right? Well, it's the same thing with team members. I'm not equating, please don't send the stupid emails. You know, Larry's equating team members and employees with dogs. I'm not, <laughs> but we are all animals, right? Yeah. We all do. We reflexively learn to reply to stimuli based on what's happened in the past. Habits, yeah. Habits, thank you. Um, and so I encourage you, take the time to tell your team member, let's walk through this because we wanna make you into a stronger professional in the future. You're gonna get really jazzed up by making decisions in the future. So let's kind of go through that now. Mm. Yeah, but Dave, we were talking before I got sidetracked, my apologies, about the hero complex, how that can sometimes oh. short circuit the process, which means we're the ones short circuiting it. Yes. Right? Yeah. 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 It's, you know, we want to, we want to stand there, right? With our hands on our hips and looking up. And Look how great I am. With our cape <laughs> flowing, you know, in the wind behind us, right? Aren't I'm I like, awesome? Yeah, I solved the problem, you know, that becomes, you know, and it ends up our ego gets in the way. Sure. Right. Yeah. Right. It does. Yeah. And I think we all um, face that sometimes. And then we're always tempted to, um, you know, make the quick decision because we've got so much to do. We just want to move on. And we want to get this done. Right. Yeah. So we've got to sit back, slow down and, and think about, well, what's best for my team member? What's best for my organization long-term? That's absolutely right. Right. Yeah. And, and then at other times we've got to just, um, you know, schedule the time in to do that, to force ourselves to do it because it's tough, right? Mm -hmm. It is tough. But like yeah. you said, I think with practice, you know, it's like with anything else, practice 
you know, how, how you're training your team members to do it. We have to train ourselves as, as owners and entrepreneurs. We mm -hmm. have to train ourselves to do that, right? Yeah. We've talked about this in the past, Dave, about this to-do list that I've created that I use for myself, right? Where I actually delegate things to the different people that are on my teams. But also the, I have one of the most important sections on this daily to-do list. I've got one page, you know, stapled together for, for each day are the decisions or the, the questions I have down at the bottom that I ask myself when I meet with my team members. So a couple of these questions might actually help you as you're trying to figure out you know, how to do, how to navigate this, whether you meet with your team members regularly and it's scheduled each week, or you have impromptu meetings with them throughout the week, be sure to ask them at least a couple of these questions. What decisions do you need from me? Mm -hmm. Okay. What problems are keeping you from your priorities? All right. That's a good one. Um, what plans are you making, which we haven't discussed? What progress have you made? So that I've got six of them that are on here. Um, but I think if you ask at least those first three questions, uh, what decisions do you need from me? What problems are keeping you from your priorities? What plans are you making that we haven't discussed? Those will help as well to, to develop your team members. The, the, here's the key, I think, at the end of the day. We need to have margin in our life to be the mentor that our team members need to grow. Mm -hmm. Most people want more professional development uh, in their place of work. Yeah. It's our more obligation, I believe, to help them with that. Uh, yeah, I agree. I agree. You know, it's, I, I guess in a lot of ways, it's, it's, I don't want to, this, this shouldn't sound negative, but in a lot of ways, the way we want to work with our team members is similar to the way we would want to raise up our, our kids. Oh, so tell me more. Well, like um, you want to raise your kids to be able to think and make decisions on their own and use huh? good, yeah, critical thinking mm -hmm. so that you're, you're not, you know, watching them because you can't be there all the time, Yeah, true. you know, and because I think one of the things that we've talked about before is um, the, if you want to have freedom, you've got to give up control. If we want freedom as a business owner, as, as a, a business leader. Owner. Yes, As we have leader, to give up, control. Give up control. Yes, but it's true. the same thing with our kids. If we want to have freedom, if we want our kids to have freedom, we've got to give up control, right? We've got right. to let them go out. <laughs> Make the mistakes, learn. Yeah, right. and, and, yeah. and then mentor and coach them. Mm -hmm. right? That's a great point. It's a great point. Okay, anything else on this question? Uh, well, what I would remind people of, hey, s smash the subscribe button on, on this if you're finding this on YouTube or one of the the uh, the, the, uh, the video platforms, okay? Uh, gives us a thumbs up. Give us a comment. How would you handle this? If yeah, you're presented with, with this question. Um, and if you have other questions that you'd like us to answer, put a, you know, ask us a question in the comment section below, or you can actually email us at info at ugozi.com. We'll put that in the, uh, in the description. And uh, hopefully we'll get to one of your questions uh, and we'll call you out when we actually, uh, we actually address it on the next on one of our podcasts yeah yeah I, I agree okay well everybody thank you again for joining us remember building a team is the way to reclaim your freedom and we're here to help you yep the three things we'd love for you to do and you'd really appreciate it i think it may be more now but subscribe to the <laughs> podcast right yeah. click on that subscribe button subscribe 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 yes yeah. <laughs> and then give us a rating obviously we want five star but do that. Leave a comment below if you've already um, given us a rating. Uh, put in a question, any comment, like Larry says, it will help us get the word out um, yeah. uh, because I think we've got some pretty good stuff here that we're talking about. And then the third thing is go to hiremyva.com for more information on our course and community. Remember, even without experience, you'll learn how to prepare for hire and thrive with virtual assistants. Larry and I have helped a lot of folks. We get people um, new people coming in and we're helping them and they're changing their lives all the time. And we want to help you too. So just go to hiremyva.com for more information. That's right. Hey, my friends, do yourself a favor, do the world a favor, go do something significant today. All right. God bless you. God keep you. God hold you. All right, my friends, go get them. Okay. Bye. <laughs>